A humpback whale was found entangled with various lines off British Columbia, Canada. Canadian News, CBC Vancouver, reported that a nearby crew was alerted of the trapped animal in Hecate Strait. The humpback whale was found with multiple lines and floats tangling its head and midsection. The crew spent several days rescuing the animal before it swam free. The crew thinks the animal got trapped by collecting gear and lines for weeks or months before it eventually got trapped. On September 10 the Russian armed forces had launched a counteroffensive in the Kursk region. Servicemen from one of the units in the border region told that airborne and marine units had driven the Ukrainian armed forces out of four settlements, Gordievka, Bayakovo, Nezepnoi, and Viktorovka. The battles for neighboring villages continue, the enemy is retreating, as soon as we have confident control, we will report on other villages, said the RTVI source. The MASH telegram channel was one of the first to report on the Russian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region. According to the channel, the Russian military drove the Ukrainian armed forces out of the village of Gordievka in an hour and a half, and also began counterattacks in the areas of Apanasovka and Martinovka. In total, 10 plus km of territory were liberated in 24 hours, MASH claims. Military expert Mikhail Zvinchuk writes that the Russian armed forces launched a counterattack on one of the sections of the front, liberating two settlements in less than a day and starting battles in at least two more. Some of the Ukrainian armed forces units in the area are under threat of encirclement, while the advanced groups of Russian troops continue their offensive both to the south and to the east, Mikhail Zvinchuk reports. Zvinchuk reports that Russian troops are conducting a counteroffensive on the Gordivkas Nagast line. To the north of the latter, Russian paratroopers have made significant progress, taking control of the approaches to the village and entering its territory, the expert points out. War correspondent Yuri Kotnok reported that, according to preliminary data, the Russian armed forces have liberated Snagast. During the offensive at Snagast, dozens of Ukrainian soldiers were killed, some surrendered, the Telegram Channel Operation Z war correspondence of the Russian Spring reports. Deputy head of the main military political department of the Ministry of Defense and commander of the Chechen Special Forces, Akhmet Apti Alodinov announced very large losses of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region. The Ukrainian military personnel stationed in Snagast were unable to withstand the onslaught and retreated in the direction of Lubomovka, and then in the direction of Zeleny Shlyak, the Ingprz Vedka telegram channel claims. Massive artillery and airstrikes were carried out, helicopters carried out a number of successful raids. At the moment, massive artillery preparation is ongoing, the Post says. According to Mikhail Zvinchuk, Ukrainian troops were driven out of some positions in Apanasivka and its environs, as well as in the area of the village of October 10. As Zvinchuk writes, as a result of Russian counterattacks, the Ukrainian armed forces were under threat of encirclement in the area of the village of Krasnuktyabrsky. According to the Telegram channel, Operation Z, or correspondence of the Russian Spring, Ukrainian troops were driven out of almost a dozen settlements. Cleansing and consolidation continues in all settlements, the publication says. 
In particular, the Ukrainian armed forces were driven out of Komarovka, Sheptakovka and Vishnevka, claims Operation Z. In addition, our forces are attacking near Borky, Pogrebki and Martinovka, the Telegram channel reports.